Hi everyone, welcome to Lady Thara Tarot. Welcome to my little um, mini series on angel card reads. I'm gonna do them for all the elements. I'm really excited. Today is fire, I'm gonna start with you. Um, I haven't done fairy cards in a while, so I think this will be really fun, but I'm gonna start our read off with some Buddha cards. Need a little Buddha in my life. If it looks dark, it's because it's six o'clock in the morning. I'm making videos. It's nice and quiet. Angel spirits, guides. What does Buddha want to tell? Our lovely fire signs. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. On the happy path, there's no path to happiness. Happiness is the path. I love that. There is no path to happiness. You are the path, right? If we're gonna put sadness out there and we're gonna walk a path of sadness, um, you know, it, it's really, it's really we're gonna walk the path that we decide to to, um, to walk. You know, sometimes we just get so caught up in the minutia, we realize the energy we're putting out is not the greatest energy that you should be using on your path of life. You know, you really, um, if you're putting out a lot of negativity, you're going to have a negative path. If you're putting out a lot of positivity, you're going to have a positive um, path. But remember, um, having a really positive life is difficult. You know, you have to stay really balanced. It's inside work. Um, it doesn't come overnight. You know, it's a practice. You know, it's a practice to put out energy that is positive. People don't like doing that. So remember today, on a happy path, there's no path to happiness. Happiness is the path. I love that from Buddha. Let's get one more. Unwavering reassurance. You unfold to the best of your ability. So I kind of feel this card is telling you today that nothing is going to come to you too quickly. You need to be able to um, have the ability. So I think this card is saying that spirit is going to show you when you have the ability to move on, when you have the ability to take the next step. You know, it's a process. And, um, you know, we really have to listen to it. Um, and you know, everybody wants everything really, really fast. I'm that type of person. I'm a Gemini. I like getting things done really fast all the time, but sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Then we got the Dharma, Dharma warrior, uh, conquer badness with goodness, right? I mean, this is hard these days. There's a lot of badness out there. It's very difficult for goodness to conquer badness. <laughs> very very you have to be very very disciplined it's funny i almost feel like this whole um reading so far for you fire has been about discipline I want to become a warrior all right so let's just get a couple of cards from um which one are these ah <coughs> uh, the universe has your back i haven't used these in a really long time these are the cards, of what I, I got these, well, well, one of my first cards. Angel Spirit, ooh. Here we go. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Right? I like this. Dharma warrior, I conquer goodness with badness. There is no path to happiness. You know, happiness is the path. You know, all these cards have to do with um, being able to look at the world through love and listen to spirit so you can hear, you know, the reassurance that you're on the right path. If you're going to listen to other people tell you what the right path is, it, it's, it's, it's not going to be a good thing. You really have to connect to your spirit guides and let them tell you. My girlfriend called me last night, and I don't know why I'm rambling on about this. She is not a fire sign. But anyway, 
she was telling me she was meeting with a landlord of an apartment and she got a really bad gut feeling in her stomach and she knew immediately she shouldn't be staying with you know dealing with this guy but she really needed an apartment and thank god she brought a lawyer along because he was a total like shysty guy but for a minute there she was going to ignore her inside voice and take this apartment and thank god she had the lawyer there so you guys really have to listen to that little inner voice that little niggle that that is that spirit all right so great what are we at here let's start the read let's get some cards on the table my lovely lovely fire signs what do we got for you today they're so beautiful these cards okay. little fairy angel spirits guides what do we have today for our fire signs Three cards on the table. Angels for this guy. Oh, strength on the bottom of the deck. I love that. Unwavering reassurance, Dharma warrior, and strength. She's beautiful. The grace and inner strength needed to overturn challenges, the power and abilities and forgiveness, time to embrace um and have a wonderful and and, ooh, and how wonderful you are i love that not only does she have the lion in the picture she's got the sheep you know so like she's gentle like she calms the savage beast by being gentle and and by being gentle she's strong right isn't that such a dichotomy sometimes you know it's like these cards are like, crack me up all right so what else do we get ego yeah baby it's all about the ego sometimes the illustration of being trapped placing too much importance on the material items getting caught up and in fear and worry or being held to old beliefs by fear and worry that's your ego right you know somebody tells you something that you believe to be true even if it's not and you're so like caught up in self that you don't even see it and you're just not like a really nice person so watch out use the strength remember being gentle okay it's about being gentle too the chariot balance i love that major arcana um success <clears throat> Um, from dedication and self-discipline, creating your accomplishments, bringing in, bringing yourself into the spotlight, the chariot. So this is all about yin and yang, right guys? Balance. You know, if you're unbalanced, you're going to tip over. Look at this guy. It's very precarious. You know, and this wants you to realize balancing dark and light, it wants you to realize that there's going to be dark too. You can't beat yourself up all the time because of your dark side. We all have moon energy. We all have shadow energy. But as long as we keep things balanced, as long as we don't go to one side or the other, we're not going to tip over and fall on our faces. All right. And it seems like this whole um, reading so far has been about balance for you, fire. You know, it wants you to stay out of ego. It wants you to be a warrior. It wants you to try and be happy, even though sometimes you think that there's not things to be happy about. Because, you know, today, if you're six feet above um, the earth, then you should, or six feet above ground, is that the saying? I mean, that's a good day, right? It's more to see, more to explore. Just don't get so caught up in, I feel like other people's energy. Watch out for that. Okay, ten of autumn. I wish I had my glasses. I could hardly see these cards. And take steps to reassure. Oh my god, I can't even see this. The financial security of your children and loved ones. Make wise investment and planning. Family traditions. This is beautiful. Look, it has little like a little family of fairies. 
remembering traditions. Seven of Autumn. I have patience and don't worry. Take time to test and plan um, your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money. So I don't know if you're thinking of looking into something um, monetarily to take care of your family. It looks like it's a good investment. It might be time. You know, you, knew, you do need to take care of your family. So if things are really tight right now and you need to like make a move, um, I the cards are saying it, it feels good, but only if you stay balanced. Um, so that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much, Fire. I'm sorry I forgot my glasses and I could hardly read the cards. I'll remember late, later. If you made it this far, please uh, watch another one of my videos or subscribe. I love you guys, bye.